Hey guys, it's Frixie Solutions, and today I'm going to do a Valentine's Day makeup look. I'm going to do like a black, sexy, smoky eye look for you guys today, and I'm going to try one little product that is like new to me. So I hope you guys enjoy this look, and this is this will also be a little chit chat little video about current events and loving yourself and all that. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below some advice, suggestions, tips, whatever. Just comment it down below. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started, y'all. So, I hope my camera is not too far away. Uh, I want y'all to see everything because I'm wearing Brigitte and my little pink earrings that I got from AliExpress. And they look like this. They have the little fake gem on it. They're really cute. And if you guys don't know about AliExpress, AliExpress, you have to order your stuff like a month or two before you actually want to wear it. Um, I think you can, well, you can decide <clears throat> how fast you want your items, but it will cost more. So for like free shipping, sometimes they take like a month or two depending on the item or the seller. So it all depends, but you just have to look on there. But I, for these... I think these earrings were like 68 cents, so I didn't pay for shipping because I didn't feel like it. But they took like, because I ordered these in December and I got these um, in January. So, yeah, so it probably took, it took like a month for it to arrive. But AliExpress is the bone. You can get eyelashes, makeup, clothes, all that. You can get that from AliExpress. Yes, AliExpress. Um, I kind of look washed out. I don't know why. Let me scoot up my camera a little bit. Scoot up this tripod. But I kind of feel like I'm washed out. But I don't want to mess up the lighting too much. But anyways, I feel like I'm washed out, y'all. But anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. And I'm going to use the kind of Idle Eyebrow Pencil. It looks like this. You can get it from your beauty supply store. It's very basic. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in for you guys. And I'm going to do a little chit chat. So Valentine's Day is next Friday. Today is Saturday. So it is next Friday. And I mean, I do want to see that photo, the photographs movie. I really want to see that movie. It looks like it's a good movie. It's like a black love movie and it looks pretty good. So hopefully it is a nice movie as well. I'm looking over here because I have a big mirror over here. So I'm looking over here. So I'm feeling my eyebrows and looking here at the same time. So I want to see that movie on Valentine's Day. Um... I don't know if it will be a lot of people at the movies on Valentine's Day, but I do live in a, what's a way to say it, royal area. So I don't know if it will be a lot of us there, you know what I mean? Um, so I don't know if it will be packed. So I'm planning to go with my mom. So... We'll have to see. But I really want to see that movie. But if I don't see it on Valentine's Day, it'll be okay. I'll watch it another time or when it comes on DVD. But, yeah. So, I really want to see that movie. It looks like it'll be a nice, sweet, cute movie and all that. Um, the only thing I just don't want it to be like a huge, bad plot, if that makes sense. For example, they'll fall in love whenever she does something wrong to irritate them and they break up and then they move on with their lives like i want them to like stick to, stick it together like i kind of feel like it's gonna be like that big ending and all that but i don't know but i think that kind of makes the movie interesting when it's that that different surprise plot i don't know but maybe it's just me thinking it and like um how in the previews she was like you know uh, my mother never knew how to love, you know, and all that. I'm scared to be in love. I kind of feel that way, similar a little bit. Um, I won't say I'm scared, but I just don't want to give my heart to the wrong person. Uh, I have seen it countless times with family members, friends, associates, all of them. 
you know, they'll give their heart and their time to the wrong person and they don't get nothing out of it. You know what I mean? And the only thing they get from it is a broken heart. And I just don't want to put myself in that type of predicament. Like, I know, you know, life goes on like that. Like, stuff like that happens no matter if you've been married with that person for 50 years. But if I'm spending 50 years in marriage and all that, or relationship, well, marriage, honey. <laughs> marriage. Um, but anyways, like, I... I don't want to waste my time. And it's just that, like... Ugh. I don't know. And the thing is, I get, you know, DMs, all that approach, you know, every once in a while. But I don't take them seriously. Like, you probably just comment because you saw my body picture or, you know, or whatever. Or you saw my cute face because I post mostly silly, honey. Like, I'm just saying. This body is snatched. I'm just saying, y'all. Okay? This body is snatched. But, I mean, still... People kind of wants to have sex with you. Even if they look at your face, you got a pretty face. I'm just saying. like, <laughs> Just saying. But, I mean, dudes want sex. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that women don't want that too. You know, we don't, that we don't have our desires and wants and needs and all that. But I don't want my relationship to be based on sex. You know, that's that's a... That's a, like a bonus, like a gift, you know, all that. But, but yeah, I just don't want to give my body, my time, my energy, my spirit, all that to the wrong person. And I know that you can do that many different ways, not just in a relationship that involves those things, but you can do that, like, at your job, giving your time and your energy doing that as well. And it, it's like you really can't escape it. Like, you really can't. But yeah, y'all, so uh, we'll see how that movie goes, and we're going to see how my love life goes. And I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I've never been in a real, like, relationship. When I mean, like, real boyfriend and girlfriend, I'm, like, I'm talking about real, like, here, you met my mom, you met my sister, you met my brother, you met my stepsisters, my stepbrother, all that like, you met them. You know what I mean? You, you, stuff like that. Like, I never really had that. So, I guess like I said, I never really had a boyfriend because I really had it. Like, I never say, oh, my, this is my boyfriend, whatever. Or, if I did, they irritate me and I just didn't talk no more. So, yeah. And one thing about me, I don't mind cutting somebody off. I think that's too brown. I don't mind cutting somebody off, like, period. I'm just going to keep it real. Like, I can move on my life, deuces, bon voyage, have a great life, see you later. Like, and that is a, um, is that a pro or con? Uh, a, is that a con or a weakness? What's another word besides saying pro and con? A weakness? No. I don't know. I can't come to it, but it's a word that's similar to that. So, it's one of my weakness of doing that. Like, you irritate me, I probably... I probably would say deuces. You know, mentally all that. Like, and physically. Like, bye. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to text you no more. It's kind of like that. Is it wrong? Probably so. Let me pull this up a little bit closer. <clears throat> for some okay so i am filming on my new phone this is the s10 plus um i don't know if it's a setting that i have it on but it feels like it's like beauty filter out like my skin is flawless like it looks realistic and all maybe it's the quiet maybe i'm not used to this crisp quality or I don't know I don't know what it is but it just looks a little different than what I'm used to so yeah I don't know maybe I need to play uh, with the setting some more but anyways let me go ahead and add this concealer we're going to use this right here and I'm going to fix my eyebrows up 
But anyway, so yeah, I mean, I want to see that movie. I want to see how it would end and how it would go. So I might see that on Valentine's Day. I don't know. I might just buy me something to eat and treat myself. And that's another thing. Even when you're single, you still want to treat yourself like you are in a relationship. You don't need to wait for a man to come to your life or a woman to come to your life to spoil you, to take you to Cancun, to take you to Hawaii, which I don't have the funds to actually do that right now. But you know, you don't need to do that, like to enjoy your life until you get married or in a relationship. And like, I remember a couple years ago, um, when the Glam Twins, they purchased their house. They actually built it and all that. But when they bought their house, they posted a, uh, a photo on Instagram. And I think somebody coming was like, basically to the face, they shouldn't have waited till they were married to, to get a house or whatever. And one of the twins, I think it was Kelsey or Kendra. I think it was Kelsey because she's more like, <laughs> uh, I think she res responded saying, I thought you just needed money to buy a house. And that's really what you need, just money. Like, you don't need to have a man. Like, you know, when you're about to purchase a house or a car, they're not going to ask you, do you have a husband? Do you have kids? No. You need just to have your money, have a good little credit score, and call it a day. You don't need to have a husband to buy a house, to buy a nice car. Or a nice designer bag. You don't need to wait for a man to provide those things for you. But the thing is, you know, I am a little conservative. I won't say conservative all the way. Or I won't say conservative traditional in certain aspects. Um, but that right there, like the independent thing, I agree with. Um, you know, you don't have to be married to have those things. And we still are narrow-minded. And I'm a little narrow-minded over certain things as well. We're still a little narrow-minded because of what we have been told and taught. We really can't fully think for our, ourselves and make decisions that our film members um, don't agree with. And that can go, you know, both both ways. Not just buying a house or because you're not married at a certain age, you're not dating at, at a certain age. You know, sometimes those traditional thinking can impact the way you feel about certain things. Um, for example, I'm 24. I just turned 24 um, a month ago. And what I what I thought a 24-year-old would have, you know, you know, because of what we have been taught or conditioned, 24-year-old... You already should be in your career. Me, I should already be a teacher, working on my master's degree, dating, probably about to get married, engaged, you know, all these things. Learn how to drive. I already bought my first car or something like that. You know, and times have changed. And even back then, they was living with their parents, you know, if they weren't married. So I don't get the double standard. But sometimes some people don't look at look at look at it that way, and you know, sometimes I had to do that. You know what I mean? Um, I have traditional thoughts of what a man and a woman should do and should not do and all that. So, it goes both ways. But the thing is, I'm acknowledging it. A lot of people are not going to admit it, but I am. But anyways, spoil yourself no matter if you are engaged, you got 10 kids, spoil yourself. Treat yourself. If buying makeup makes you happy and all that, go ahead and do that. And I feel like even if you're working paycheck to paycheck, you should still spoil yourself. Like, say like a hundred or two hundred something dollars for yourself. It could be fifty dollars, you know, whatever, um, depending on your income. Oh, sorry, y'all. I know that sounds disgusting. Sorry, y'all, I am, I have some kind of cold development. I am so sorry. But even, you know, treat yourself. If going to McDonald's, you know, just small things. Like, for me, getting some wings stuff, 
sitting in my room watching my favorite shows or whatever is like the best thing. Um, or some food or something like that, that makes me happy. You know, watching my favorite Netflix shows, that makes me happy, make, make me feel calm because during the work day, I am busy. And I'm doing other things for other people. And, you know, because I work in child care, you're giving all your energy, your time to provide for your children and all that. And it gets draining. That's part of being in any kind of field. I don't actually see that for one type of um, career. Any kind of field. You can be a firefighter, whatever things you do, you know, all that. But still, you get drained. Like, you know, you put it up a face and all that. Not saying you're being fake, but you have to provide customer service. You oh, you got to be happy, be have all this energy. And sometimes that gets overwhelming over time. Like, even now, like, I don't know. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> like, I'm really tired and I'm stressed out. I don't know if it's because I'm not happy of, um, of my um, life situation, the predicament that I'm in right now because what I expect myself to be at 24 I don't have it right now and that sometimes can play on those tr traditional um I won't say traditional roles but traditional um views that we said for a certain age group at 18 you should have graduated you about to go off to college and all that stuff like that you know sometimes that kind of still goes in your mind and I'm not saying that I'm you know relieved from that because I'm not I still think about those things pretty much every other day so and it's something that I am also working on and it's going to take some time like some time this eyebrow is like dark and maybe I need to make that one a little dark Sometimes my eyebrows come out nicely. Sometimes they don't. But I have not done my makeup in a while. So, and I did record a Get Rid of Me Chit Chat for my birthday. I don't know if, I, if I'll upload it or edit it. I just don't like the way it looks. But I did post it up a photo, but I don't think I'll do it though. Um, upload it. Let me tone this down. Okay. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to put the concealer on my eyelids like I normally do. But I'm going to add this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to use my little finger and I'm going to blend this out. But anyway, so y'all, the more of that first half of my chit chat was basically treat yourself. Don't set limitations to yourself because of your predicament, your age. That you can't buy or treat yourself to different things. Um, I follow this um, teacher YouTuber. Her name is Smarty Style. And I remember a couple months ago she did a video about um, unboxing her Louboutin. You know, things that she bought for her birthday. And she felt like, like, well before, prior to her buying those things, like, Oh, no, I'll um, ask my husband to get me this for Valentine's Day or my birthday when I get married and all that. But she's in her 40s and all that. But it's like, you don't know what you're waiting for. Like, are you waiting for something that's not going to happen? Or are you waiting for something, you know, something like that like that's going to take for years to come? Like, you might as well get yourself. Like, why wait for somebody else to do something for you when you can do it yourself? And I agree. And... If you want it, get it. Don't wait for somebody to get you something. If you want it, go ahead and save your money for it and get it. Treat yourself. For example, this phone right here, for years, and I mean years, I always want me a premium Samsung phone. I always had the J7. I had that for like three or four years. And like I had the LG style, but those were cheaper. You know, I was able to like pay for that like 
up front. You know, it was like 200 something dollars. He, yeah. But I decided instead of me waiting until my birthday for my mom, my stepdad to buy me this phone, whatever, that I've been asking, well, not for this, but you know, whatever the updated phone that was like, uh, like for example, at the time that I wanted the Note 3 when it came out, I really wanted that phone. Then the Note 4 and all that. Like, I just wanted a new phone that had a lot of storage space. This had 128 gigabytes. But that was that was a lie compared to 12. So that was a lot. <laughs> 128 gigabytes is a lot. And I do take a lot of pictures. I mean, you can also store, store a um, SD thing in it to expand it. But stuff like that. You know what I mean? Why wait to somebody to give it to you? And I've been doing that for a long time. I saved my freaking money. I got my own account. Yeah, yeah. I bought it. Well, I didn't pay it off. But you know, I got my own line. So, I got my phone. Why wait? Why wait? And also, another um, plan that I was thinking about was wait until I get my teaching job. Then I'll get the, you know, the phone, the watch that I wanted. Last year... I was looking at different types of smartwatches. I was going to get the Samsung Acne Watch. That was like $200. But I decided to get the Kate Spade. I love Kate Spade. It's very cute. But I might get that Samsung Watch later on this year or next year. You know what I mean? If I save my money. I mean, I can get it today if I want. Well, not today, baby. I got taxes to pay. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I can get it. But why wait? Why wait? Why wait? First, for certain things, you can wait for it. But for, like, things that you can buy, why wait? Things you can do, why wait until I get this age to get weekly massages and pedicures? Why wait? Which I don't get those. But, you know, why wait? And I know that waiting is... Is... You know, virtue and all that. But certain things, I feel like you should not have to wait for. Go ahead and treat yourself now while you're alive. And you never know when you're about to leave this earth. Uh, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is the color Black Bean 6100. I got this from eBay. Um, but I'm going to put that on my eye. And I want to put it a little above my crease, but I'm going to blend it out so it's going to go above my crease. And yeah, so we're just going, we're going to blend this out. So is that going to stay like this, y'all? So I'm going to put that on my eye. But anyways, my way. But anyways, life is too short. And speaking of life is too short, um, on January the 26th or something like that, that's when Kobe Bryant died. And... He, you know, I'm pretty sure he had a nice fulfilled like he had a beautiful wife, beautiful children and all that. Had everything that he wanted. And I'm pretty sure he spoiled his kids himself and all of that. But it's like why wait until you get a certain age to do certain things? You know what I mean? And you never know what your time is about to come, about to go. And you never know. You, you never know. So why wait? And, you know, it, it's very sad that he left, you know, a beautiful wife, beautiful children. And his daughter died. It's well. It's like you—you you never know when your life is about to end. I don't like the way I blended it. Maybe that's not a good brush. It's just too fluffy. You know, and it's like treat yourself. Like, like I'm, and I keep saying this, and I keep reiterating this because for the longest, for Valentine's Day, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna get this black box of chocolate. I'm gonna wait till I get a boyfriend and all that, or buy this cake pop. For all that, why wait? Well, you can get those for yourself. You can literally order them for order them um, online and have them delivered. 
and write your little note to yourself. Heck, I might do my own chocolate sh um, strawberries, if, you know, and all that. Like, if it's really a big deal. And I remember a couple of years ago, I first say three years ago, I did an anti Valentine's Day makeup look. And I got lives a little bit. <laughs> but, because I had no Valentine's Day. Um, but still, I'd be bitter of that. The things that these women are getting for Valentine's Day, a teddy bear, a, a, what, what else they get? Flowers, chocolate dipped strawberries. You can do those by yourself. You can buy them for yourself. You don't need to wait for somebody to give that. Alright, so I'm going to use this. Beach Cosmetics Martin Matte Palette, and I'm going to go into the black shade. Y'all had this palette for like three, four years. Y'all see that black shade right there? I'm gonna go to that. Tap tap. I wish I had a small mirror, but I'm going to blend that right there. And for this little thing, it is a little oily, so it may move. And as you can see, it's moving. And like, I don't know, maybe it's the primer that I used because it was a little waxy, but it's moving. So you may not want to blend, blend. So I'm going to pat this in. Because it's going to move. So I'm just going to pat, 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 pat. To the darkness, to I want it, because I want it. Alright, but y'all, but. Like, life is too short to be dealing with toxic people, people who don't support you fake friends, like toxic family members. It's too short to be dealing with those. I know that you can't 100%, you know, escape from toxic people because they are all around you. But for certain circumstances, for example, your friends, you can cut them off. Your family, you can cut your family off too. Like, but, okay, you can't, but you know to keep a distance from them. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can't just erase your family member like you can with a friend that who's toxic. And if you don't know the size of a toxic friend, toxic friend, because a lot of people don't until later on, I'm going to give you some of my past experiences. For example, if they are, let's just say, let's just say if I did my makeup real nice, swear. They don't compliment when you look nice, when you look good, but they are compliment Another person that who's who's not really close to them, they'll compliment, oh girl, you look an artist, but they don't do that to you. That is a little sign of a friend that's toxic, I'm just saying, or who's jealous or whatever. That is a sign too. Um, like there's so many. Let me think of another one. Um, a friend that who always point out your flaws. Oh, look at your belly, oh look at this, oh it's sloppy and all that. You know, who's always picking at you, who never have nothing nice to say. That That is also a sign of a, you guess it, toxic friend. I mean, of a toxic friend. Oh, that's black. I think I'm at a little mauve pink. I'm going to do that in the book. That's going to help blend it out a little bit. And you don't want to go too, too in in the work. You want to keep it a little bit here. But you want to do it heavily out here, y'all. Blend, blend, blend. 
Now, for some of y'all looking at my eyebrows, oh, she still got that concealer out there. She needs to blend that, baby. When I put on my shadow, not shadow, my foundation is going to blend out. So, I'm start a little bit right here and go out. This one is more pink. I like that more pink look, but I don't like a drag. Yeah, I like that more pink. Let's add some more pink. I'm going to do it on the edge. But yeah, we're going to go and blend that in. Yeah, but treat treat yourself. Like, like I mean, why not talking about treat yourself? Not treat yourself. Get rid of those toxic people from yourself. Like, from your life. You don't need them if they're picking on you. Making you feel down. Even if they're not your friend. Like, let's just say you follow a person on social media who makes you feel bad about your life. Unfollow them. Unfollow them. Yes. Hey, bro. Is that too much? I know it looks crazy right now. So I'm going to continue to blend this out. This is going to take a little while. And one thing about makeup, it takes a while. This is not something that you just do in like... A couple minutes for certain looks you can do this um a quick little smoky eye but i want it to be like so i'm gonna come back to you guys after i am done Okay, so I know that I look like a raccoon right now, but it's okay. I still look cute. It is a little dramatic, and I can see that it is very dramatic. But if you're going, you know, you don't really have, like, a real, like, subtle date for Valentine's Day, this probably would be a little too much, but... You don't have to do it all the way like I did. Like, you didn't have to go all the way to the eyebrows. I mean, oops, excuse me. You don't have to go all the way to the eyebrows like I did. I'm going to fix that up later. Um, you can always use your fingers to kind of fix it. Like so. You can do that. Or you can use a clean brush. Where's my brush at? You can use a clean brush or concealer. And you can just redo that part to get rid of the harsh lines at the top, which I'm going to do because I don't like it all the way up there. Another thing about makeup, you can always edit and erase with these products. Like, there's certain things you can just do instead of starting over. But I want to add a little orange, like right here above the crease. To give it some color. 
I mean, I love the sexy and sultriness about it, so I'm going to go right there to kind of tone it down. And I might do a little brown, so let's do this one. Huh. I don't know if that would make a difference, though. Maybe I should do the orange first. Hmm. And I don't want to mess it up. Let me leave it I should do the orange first, then the purple. Because sometimes you want to create a gradient look for your eye makeup. But yeah, so. I'm going to reapply the concealer around my eyebrows. And then I'm going to put on my eyelashes and then I'm going to come back. He spoiled his kids himself and all of that. But it's like, why wait until you get a certain age to do certain things? You know what I mean? And you never know when your time is about to come, about to go. And you never know. You, you never know. So why wait? And, you know, it, it's very sad that he left, you know, a beautiful wife, beautiful children, and his daughter died as well. It's like, you, you never know when your life is about to end. I don't like the way I blended it. Maybe that's not a good brush. It's just too fluffy. You know, and it's like, treat yourself. Like, like I'm, and I keep saying this, and I keep reiterating this, because... For the longest, for Valentine's Day, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get this black box of chocolate. I'm going to wait till I get a boyfriend and all that. Or buy this cake pop for all that. Why wait? Well, you can get those for yourself. You can literally order them for order them um, online and have them delivered. And write your little note to yourself. Heck, I might do my own chocolate sh um, strawberries, if, you know, and all that. Like, if it's really a big deal. And I remember a couple of years ago, I'd probably say three years ago, I did an anti-Valentine's Day makeup look. And I ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit. <laughs> but, because I didn't have no Valentine's Day. Um, but still, might be bitter of that. The things that these women are getting for Valentine's Day, a teddy bear, a, a, what, what else they get? Flowers, chocolate dipped strawberries. You can do those by yourself. You can buy them for yourself. You don't need to wait for somebody to give you that. Alright, so I'm going to use this. Beach Cosmetics Martin Max palette, and I'm going to go into the black shade. Y'all had this palette for like three, four years. Y'all see that black shade right there? I'm gonna go to that. Tap tap. I wish I had a small mirror, but I'm going to blend that right there. And for this little thing, it is a little oily, so it may move. And as you can see, it's moving. And like, I don't know, maybe it's the primer that I used because it was a little waxy, but it's moving. So you may not want to blend, blend. So I'm going to pat this in. Because it's going to move. So I'm going to pat, 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 pat. To the darkness, to I want it. Because I want it dark. Alright, but y'all, yeah, but... Life is too short to be dealing with toxic people, people who don't support you, fake friends, like, 
toxic family members. It's too short to be dealing with those. I know that you can't 100%, you know, escape from toxic people because they are all around you. But for certain circumstances, for example, your friends, you can cut them off. Your family, you can cut your family off too. Like, but, okay, you can't, but you know to keep a distance from them. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can't just erase your family member like you can with a friend that who's toxic. And if you don't know the size of a toxic friend, toxic friend, because a lot of people don't until later on, I'm going to give you some of my past experiences. For example, if they are, let's just say, let's just say if I did my makeup real nice, swear. they don't compliment when you look nice, when you look good, but they will compliment another person that who's, who's not really close to them. They'll compliment, oh girl, you look good on this, but they don't do that to you. That is a little sign of a friend that's toxic. I'm just saying. Or who's jealous or whatever. That is a sign, too. Um, like, there's so many. Let me think of another one. Um, a friend that who always point out your flaws. Oh, look at your belly. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's sloppy and all that. You know, who's always picking at you. Who never have nothing nice to say. That That is also a sign of a... You guess it, toxic friend. Of a toxic friend. Oh, that's black. I think I'm at a little mauve pink. I'm going to do that in the book. That's going to help blend it out a little bit. And you don't want to go too, too in anywhere. You want to keep it a little bit here. But you want to do it heavily out here, y'all. Blend, blend, blend. And for some of y'all looking at my eyebrows, oh, she still got that concealer out there. She needs to blend that baby when I put on my shadow. Not shadow, my foundation is going to blend out. So I'm going to start a little bit right here. And go out. This one is more pink. I like that more pink look. But I don't like a drag. Yeah, I like that more pink. Let's add some more pink. I'm going to do it on the edge. But yeah, we can go and blend that in. Yeah, but treat treat yourself. Like, like, I mean, why not talking about treat yourself? Not treat yourself. Get rid of those toxic people from yourself. Like, from your life. You don't need them if they're picking on you. Making you feel down. Even if they're not your friend. Like, let's just say you follow a person on social media who makes you feel bad about your life. Unfollow them. Unfollow them. Yes. Hey, brother. Is that too much? I know it looks crazy right now. So I'm going to continue to blend this out. This is going to take a little while. And one thing about makeup, it takes a while. This is not something that you just do in like... A couple of minutes for certain looks you can do this um a quick little smoky eye but i want it to be like so i'm gonna come back to you guys after i am done
Okay, so I know that I look like a raccoon right now, but it's okay. I still look cute. It is a little dramatic, and I can tell that it's very dramatic. But if you're going, you know, you don't really have, like, a real, like, subtle date for Valentine's Day, this probably would be a little too much, but... You don't have to do it all the way like I did. Like, you didn't have to go all the way to the eyebrows. I mean, oops, excuse me. You don't have to go all the way to the eyebrows like I did. I'm going to fix that up later. Um, you can always use your fingers to kind of fix it. Like so. You can do that. Or you can use a clean brush. Where's my brush man? You can use a clean brush or a concealer. And you can just redo that part to get rid of the harsh lines at the top, which I'm going to do because I don't like it all the way up there. Another thing about makeup, you can always edit and erase with these products. Like, there's certain things you can just do instead of starting over. But I want to add a little orange, like right here above the crease to give it some color I mean I love the sexy and sultriness about it so I'm going to go right there to kind of tone it down and I might do a little brown so let's do this one huh. I don't know if that would make a difference though Maybe I should do the orange first. Hmm. And I don't want to mess it up. Let me leave it on. I should do the orange first, then the purple. Because I'm. Alright, so if this look is too um, dark for you, you can also add like a light glitter shadow in the middle to give you a halo effect. Sometimes I'll do that, but I kind of like the darkness. This is what I was going for, like a dark look. But if this is too much, you can always go for a lighter shade or you can use a light, a, a light matte um, shade. For example, for this look, I probably go for a glitter look and put it in the center right here where my um it's called iris. I'll put it put it right there in the middle to give me a little like sass to it because it looks very nice like that. Or you can use like a light pink shade to give it a little pop if you like that type of look. But yeah, I mean I'm not a makeup artist. Girl, I just do my makeup. Like I think most people do that. Like you just do your makeup. And I'm going to apply some lashes. I'm going to use the Salon Perfect 365 lash lashes. Um, it looks like this. Uh, these are the only lashes that I have right now. But I feel like with a smoky eye, in certain eyeshadows, you want to showcase your eye look, if that makes sense. Even those who, even those um, 
those eyelashes that are like very like dramatic they kind of hide your eye look and depending on the space between your eye and your eyebrow they kind of cover up the eyebrow as well for me it will cover up the eyebrow as well so like these are like subtle like it gives me enough of but you can still see my makeup my eyeshadow and I do and I do um, buy some of the 3d lashes depending on the look but sometimes they, you know, they kind of had a bad makeup job. Or, you know, stuff like that. So, let me go ahead and add these lashes on. These are the 614s. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm going to head and add these on because it will give a little finished look. So, I'm going to turn this camera off and I'm going to come back. Okay, so I got my eyelashes on. Um, this is what they look like. It's not a good job, so don't look too close. I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, I'm not good at putting on eyelashes, y'all. Like, I don't know. Like, is anybody good at putting eyelashes on? If you are, let me know. Let me blend this out some more. A little bit. Because I feel like it needs to be blended out. A little bit. But anyways, so now I'm going to go ahead and add on my foundations. And we're going to finish up this chit chat. Um, so, what else I had written there? Let me see. I know that I talk a little bit about um, Kobe Bryant. Um, Valentine's Day about loving yourself. But that also goes with spending time with your loved ones as well. Um... I want to continue on the fake friend, and this kind of goes with fake love to me and toxic relationships. To me, and I've talked about this topic a long time ago on my channel a couple years ago about, you know, having fake friends and all that, but I think I, think I did, you know, list the type of fake friends that you will probably encounter in your life. And I'm not saying that I'm encountering that in my life right now. I don't have any fake friends that I know of right now um, that who are doing low down, grimy stuff. That's too much foundation. But honey, it's Valentine's Day, honey. It's Valentine's Day. You wanna look flawless. That's too much on the forehead. Yeah, I put too much. And the foundation that I am adding to my skin is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 365 Nutmeg, Nutmeg Muscade. And it looks like this. So it looks like that. So it looks like that. And I have been using this foundation for like a year or two. I love it, y'all. And it's like five. Well, it's like six dollars now. But before it was like five dollars. It went up on the price. That is too light. That is too light. And I put on too much. Mmm, that is too light. Yeah, we're gonna blend this out and we're gonna make it work. Because it, this is too light. But, anyways, maybe it's still light. I don't know. And I will be making some funny faces. But anyways, so, one type, one type of fake friend that I have in my head is the one who talks behind your back. That's the normal one. That who talks and laughs behind your back and who between, pretends they are a good friend in front of your face. And even though we may not um, recognize who this friend is because they seem such a good friend. They listen to your, um, your rant about your personal life, you share all of these things that you have gone through and they tell someone and they talk behind your back and now the whole school, my experience, school knows. And you're like, how do they know this information? Like, how did this spread out when I told someone some of this? And you're like, she's the one who told. And, and it's like, dang, girl. Like, you can't keep your mouth closed. Like, if I told your business, you'd be ready to fight. 
And that's how most of them operate. You, they, they can do certain things to you, but you do that to them? Oh. Yeah. It's too light. Cause, I mean, my neck is dark. Hey, I need this. That hair? I need to find something that kind of lightens and tones my skin. And I'm not just talking about my face. I'm talking about, you know, other areas as well. You know, some things you just want it to match the rest of your body. So, I'm looking at something that, that will lighten. That I can pick up. In like Sephora or buy on Amazon or something like that. Or Ulta. I look very pale. I mean, it looks like it matches my neck. In my hands, but maybe I'm not used to this because I have been using the Revlon, no, the Revolution um, foundation. That one was dark, but I would need it there sometime. And it looks like this. I'm sure y'all. It looks like this. I probably should have added this, but I don't want too much foundation on my skin, but I probably should have mixed it in. So since. I don't want to highlight so I'm going to continue on but anyways so that's one fake friend the other one I'll say this is the friends with benefits um, friends so I don't really consider a friends with benefit a real friend um, and I consider that it's fake love because it's less and a lot of people get their feelings um wrapped into these relationships because the sex is that good and it makes them feel good and that right there is a sign of fake love to me like you basically just friends so you guys can bang each other that's what it is like there's no compatibility you guys really don't like each other it's just that sex just sets it off and it doesn't matter what sex that involves it ain't gonna be two women two men whatever whatever you know still fake love is lust <laughs> and a lot of people fall in love with lust they think oh i love him here you in love with one thing like do you really love him do you really love her Even though that really didn't do, do nothing, but it just mess my skin. And when you wear your makeup out, you know, you know you're going to be sweating. You want to add layers. Like, put it on a powder, kind of add a la layer when you're, like, sweating. And I have combination skin. Right now, my skin is so freaking dry. Like, especially my hands. They get so ashy. You really can't tell. I really think it's this camera setting. But it's like white. It's like crackling. You see those? It was worse than that. Because this was motion out. And I bought the um, a key working hand stuff because my hands literally cracked. And I just had a winter rash. That's for y'all see that little thing. And it was like all over this. It was horrible. It was like somebody just scratched me and I was like. So, friends and benefits, that's the sexual friend that I can think of. Uh, let's see what else. I already said the one who kind of treats you differently, who don't compliment you, but they compliment another person. Uh, what else? Another fake friend is the one who's who only hangs out with you when the other friends are busy. And you know what I mean. Like... When there is a major event that's going on or something like that, they don't, they don't invite you. They don't even tell you about it. They don't mention it to you. Or they brag about those other friends, but you wonder if they brag about you to the other friend. That's another sign of a freak friend. It's fake friend as well. Like, there's so many signs that I can go on in. And I probably do a part... Um, two video actually going in about those because it, it's so many examples like it, it really is 
Let me just leave this up, y'all. Yeah, y'all, I don't know if it's the camera setting of this thing. Because it's not really showing... Like the real color. I don't know. Maybe it's the setting or the lighting. I don't know. I have to play with this phone camera settings some more to actually understand it. I mean, it's a great camera. But I got to play with all these settings because I got all this gadgets and stuff on it. I need to buy me a pomade because it's not dark enough and that looks so like light like you can barely see it. Hold on one minute. I'm going to use my sister. sister. Alright so I'm going to use this LA Girl Brow Pomade. Looks like this y'all. And I got it for my sister's stuff, but she's not here, so I'm going to use it. Shh, hopefully she don't watch this video. Where is it? Dang, it keeps moving. I'm going to use it. This is my first time actually using this. I don't know if this is a good brush. It's one of those eyeliner looking brush. Maybe this will work. Let's see. Okay, do the loose Okay. Gotta make sure you get that arch. A little product goes a long way. Y'all, I am trying to get my eyebrow game up this year. Yeah, I like this. Swiping, no swiping. Swiping, no swiping. Let me do this. They did a little stuff. I don't know. But that is cute. I'm going to have to buy this for myself. I'm going to ask my sister where she got this from. I'm going to put that back in her bag. But yeah, y'all. So this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I hope you guys have a nice Valentine's Day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.